how's it going everyone another video in 3ds max and um, today we're going to be looking at ripple effect um, with water it won't take long it's really easy to do so let's get into it full screen alt w make a plane it's the same as making an ocean in the previous video i will get rid of the wireframe uh, the grid even uh, press f4 so we see our segments uh, get these up to so 50 and the width sex with segments 50 all right we don't need a modifier for this we need to go to our uh, I call it wave <laughs> um, and to geometric deformable you have a whole bunch of stuff in here um, we want ripple so I'll click it once um, click and drag I'm not sure why it was doing that <laughs> just go back there you go right, so click and drag let go and now it gives you the option to move up and down um, you can obviously change this later so just do whatever you think I mean, that's fine that's fine with me um, so now we've done that we can go back to the mouse so we don't mess anything up we need to sync this to the plane um, so we select our um, ripple use the space warp click and drag until we get the line and land on the plane and instantly you'll see that it's affecting it already and um, so even if we move this plane over now if my laptop will let me there you go you'll see it's instantly affecting the plane itself it's really cool it's amazing really <laughs> i'm impressed with this um so to sort this out we'll position it in the center uh, let's zoom out so we can see right, okay there we go and um, what you want to do now is modify this so go to the modified um, option while you have this selected and here you have um, a bunch of settings that you can change um, so obviously if you want it higher or different like frequencies or whatever you want I mean again it's like the ocean um, video I done it's a lot of experimentation for what you want um, but yeah you, the, um, the decay is a good option so you can see that it's fading out here but at these parts near the epicenter it's larger um, as it would be like normally um, so yeah it's really cool um, you can change the amount of segments um, this option has so how much it affects um, the segments it has I haven't played around with these much to be honest um, I've only done the basics myself but I just thought it would be good to show you what, um, what you can do so we'll just make it a little bit bigger so we can see in the video Um, so it may look a bit ridiculous, but just so you can see. Um, okay, so we have our scene. To animate this, as you can see, there's nothing happening. Um, if you press N, so that's to record. Um, if you press K for keyframe. Um, press K for keyframe. <laughs> Nothing's happening. Okay, it doesn't matter. Slide it along. Once you get to there, to the end, click on the um the rip the ripple piece and uh, change the phase so let's change the phase to say one into that and it should make a keyframe for you there you go it did so we can press n to get rid of that press home to go back to the start of our um, animation and then press play and you should be able to see it moving and um, sorry if it's a bit laggy on my laggy on my computer but um it's the best I can do for now and um, so you see we have that ripple effect um, so in animation um, if you want to say it clearly the only way that I can think of doing this is just to hide this part temporarily so just hide selection press F4 and then you'll be able to see your animation really easy to do have a play around in the settings see what you can find um, I'll probably do another video on this in the future. I haven't really gone that far into it, but I just thought I'd give you a quick update to what I know. Um, so yeah, good luck with your rendering, and I'll see you soon.